Hi guys, so um, what we're going to do now is we're going to take um, a picture that we found on Google Image um, Search that we want to make into a Linocut print. Um, I've chosen this camel here, but I'll just show you how I got to that point. So if I go back to open and um, All right, and here it is, the original camel. So how I got to that, I use the magic wand tool or the um, quick selection tool. If I'm using either one, um, you begin with um, selecting an area that you want to delete and then pressing shift if you want to increase, have it in another area as well. If you accidentally get an, an area that you want to get back, that you accidentally cut, you can use alt to get it back. Okay, um, now I'm going to delete that, and you have to make sure on your layer, on your background, you press that padlock so it just becomes a layer, and then you can delete it. Okay, now we're going to cut that camel out, go con uh, Command A, Command X, and we're going to paste it into an A4 document. We're going to go New, File New, International Paper A4, which is 210 by 297 at 300 resolution. So what we end up with is this um, an A4 size camel but originally it's this big so we need to increase the size of that camel I'll just turn off the old one by going command T and increasing it until you're happy with that size now really make sure that you're using as much of the area as you can so there we go so there's the there's the camel as we want it to look like I might just um, flatten that under layer there we go there it is so now we've got two documents that are A4 as well, because we're going to be printing onto A4. First thing we're going to do is going to go to Filter, Filter Gallery, use the cutout, and think about the shapes. Actually, that's pretty good straight off the bat. Um, and then think about how simple you want to make it, or complicated you want to make it. But I'd, I'd be aware of making it too complicated, or too simple, um, really. Um, Okay, um, I think I'm okay with that. I might make it a little bit more simple. Maybe one more. Yeah, that's fine. So there we go. We've got quite a blocky looking camel here. So that's that's good. That's what we want. Go into select color range. And I'm going to choose the darkest area. It's the mouth. I'm going to hold down shift, the nostril, and the eye. So I've got those dark tones now. And what I'm going to do, so you see all those areas that are selected, I'm going to go. Um, Control C, and I'm going to paste them into this one. Now they should be basically in the same area, but this is something that people have have realized that things sort of like move around in Photoshop. So maybe a, a different way of doing this is that you actually go for the lighter ones first. This should be the first layer you save, so you could file save this, save it, make sure you're saving it as a JPEG, and you can call it the first one. But then after you've done that one, you can um, go into select color range and maybe choose, instead of the darkest ones, you choose this area. And cut it out and put it into this one. There's your first layer that you could possibly use. And uh, if you can't really see what's going on, you can go to adjustments, threshold, and it turns into black and white. And you can sort of like increase that a little bit. It might be easier for you to cut out. You can see there's some nice shapes there that you can easily cut out. And do that one more time. And I think I'll do the lighter areas now. And cut that out. And then place that into a new document as well. So now you've got, and then I might do the same thing here, image adjustments, threshold. And so you've got those shapes that you can do. Now you can ignore anything, like you're not a computer, you can decide or to ignore or decide to add other things that you see. But if I were you, I would just add this strange shape here, um, these mini shapes here for quite a complicated one. And then this last one, what you could do is you could, if, if it's still quite complicated for you to see, you could just say, well, you know what? I'm just gonna concentrate on where the camel is not, everywhere of the outside for my first one, and then these dark tones. So you could use that same photocopy, that same image twice. So you could. In this case, it would be good to copy uh, print this off once, 